In this video I will demonstrate viewport widgets, changes in user interface and tools. Viewport widgets located in widgets panel. On activation widget appears around each stone, displaying the distance from it. We can customize the look of the widget, its color, line width and distance from the gem. In case you need to vary widget for certain gems, then use Override. It will override widget display settings for selected gems. There is an option to display the widgets only for selected stones. Option to use or ignore widget overrides as well as display widgets only on objects with overrides. The X-ray option to display widgets through objects. And of course all options can be combined. Widgets do not depend on object scale. You can deform the stones as much as you want. The distance displayed by the widget will not change. Dupliface is also supported. Let's move on to the changes in user interface and tools. Tools for replacing the cut and the stone were combined in one tool, allowing you to edit both parameters. Also, I made new icons for them. But I did not stop there and I made icons for every tool. Maybe you already know, but in currently developed Blender 2.8, icons for tools using the color code. Green, if the tool creates something. Purple deforms, red removes. What I consider to be a good idea, which I applied in my add on. Each tool got its own icon with the corresponding color. At the same time, I removed redundant add and deform labels and changed the location of some tools. As a result, the interface is more compact. Beside user interface, almost every tool has been improved or redesigned. For example, functionality of deformed tools became less specific. Lattice project. Previously projected objects only along the Z axis in the negative direction. Now it got option to choose axis and direction for projection. Lattice profile. Now deform selected objects along with the active object. And there are additional options available. Direction of the deformation choice between one-dimensional or two-dimensional lattice, which is convenient in certain cases, and curvature scale. Move over and under, now move selected objects as a group. The option to move them individually remains. New tool, resize, for scaling objects to new dimensions. For example, Scale stone by its smaller dimension. Selected objects will scale accordingly. It is convenient when changing size of the ring. And what I appreciated the most is changing the size of the signet. Resize is very similar to scale to bounce tool of 3D print toolbox add-on. The difference is that Scale to Bounce works with object dimensions in global coordinates and Resize works in local coordinates, which is much more convenient for resizing. Starting with this version, Jewelcraft will ignore stones with obsolete identifiers. In other words, stones created in Jewelcraft before version 1.6. If you use product report in scene with these stones, you will see that they are ignored in the report. But there will be a warning that obsolete identifiers has been found. To fix that, use the new tool Convert Deprecated Gem IDs. It can be found in Operator Search menu. After using it, outdated identifiers of all gems in the scene will be converted. Other tools and functionality also got improvements, but they are either not significant or invisible to the user. And this is all for Jewelcraft 2.1 review. 
Thank you for your attention. Download link in the description.